Hello YouTubers, and a Happy New Year from the Stone Lighter. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest PlayStation Plus offerings for the month of January, and the game we're looking at today is The Swapper. I must say, not my usual genre of games, but I'll be honest with you, I thoroughly enjoy playing it. The graphics are excellent, the game itself Quite an unusual puzzle style game. Very peculiar in the way it works. Basically, you have a, well, a man. <laughs> and what this man can do is he can clone himself. So you have to make your way through different levels and clone yourself to activate doors, lifts, and what have you. Um, very complicated, I must say, and the tutorial isn't, it's not all that, but I managed to get through it. I did have to edit around about seven or eight minutes of the video out just where I had not a clue on what I was doing. But after a bit of a time, as you can see, I finally got there. The mixture of amazing atmospherics and puzzle collection um, just really do make this game very exciting and interesting. Like, for instance, um, you've got different colored lights that will stop you from being able to do certain um, cloning activities. So red means you can clone yourself, but you cannot turn into that clone. Um, and I think the blue one means you cannot actually clone yourself in that area. So, yeah, it makes it quite intriguing. I uh, played the game for around about half an hour or so. Admittedly, the first 10 minutes were wasted on me figuring out how to control the game. Like I say, the tutorial, or lack of thereof, um, wasn't too good, but... Sometimes I like that in a game, really. You do have to figure it out for yourself. Best way, isn't it, really? So, yeah, it's a really good little um, game. Available on PlayStation 4, uh, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation Vita this month with uh, PSN+. Plus. So, big question, is it worth your bandwidth? Certainly bloody well is. So, enjoy and download it. That's another one from me. Goodbye.